o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way to uh, Johnny Ringo's grave. Nice day so far. A little bit of 55 degrees out. Probably the warmest it's gonna be all day for me. Got a little anxiety, the wind is gonna be high for the next, the next day or so. But uh, it's an incredible scenery here with the clouds tops of the uh, mountains. If I get some of that, that'll be pretty interesting. I don't know if I can show you this. Of course, as soon as I do that. What would be your line then? What's that? When you come out behind the tree? Uh, well, I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> yeah, of course, a little, little more staged than. Obviously, that. obviously. All right, so here we go. Drove in. Huh, took too long. Stopped. Met Johnny Ringo. Through this Forest Service road. Don't know where to park. This looks as good as part as any. Trails just up ahead there, and I go across Turkey Creek and then up. Weather looks okay for now. It's not for cold at all, but I'm actually having a little breakfast, which is half of my lunch of sub because of uh, Subway stuff. So. Oh, look at that! All the turkeys on Turkey Creek. What? Finally hit the trail, 11 o'clock. Hour and a half longer than I wanted to, but I'm not really concerned. I'm heading up there. Excited, anxious, a lot of things. Should be fun. You know? Burn area, number 269. Five miles to the peak. And the adventure begins. Let's see if I can get there before it gets dark. <laughs> Mormon Ridge Trail. Crest Trail in four and that's where I can pick up and look for campsites. Seriously how freaking cool is this? Oh, if you can only smell it, it smells like it's so good. Let's see, I can cross over here. All right. There we go. Prefer to stay dry. As much as possible. And go from there. Steady climb. Here we go. I ain't gonna lie. It may be 58 degrees out, but I'm sweating profusely, profusely. It's uh, a climb. One mile in. Um, gained about 600 feet. I don't recall. I think I got 3,000 to go. 3,000 total. But uh, we're coming into this small saddle here. 
Look at this. And the peak. And another saddle, another canyon down that way. Man. And I'm the only one out here. There's no guarantee of that. All the old burn stuff too. Nifty. Camera on the corner here. Into this other canyon. Man, you can see some of the burn. Pretty cool though. The trail itself is kind of non existent, but easy enough to follow in most cases. Here we are, an hour and a half into the expedition. We're getting closer. Um, it's a slog. It's, I mean, we're going up and up and up. As you can see here, I am hot. Uh, I just stopped to get my bandana because I dropped it and had to backtrack for it. So I'm not happy about that. But you can see, we're getting closer. Those clouds just can't get sh shake over the top there. But uh, I'll take the overcast, it's a little easier. I don't even know what the real temperature is right now. It's warm. It's warm for me anyway. So, yeah. Took my pack off to get the bandana. Got the bandana. Time to pack up and get going again. Alright. And the hiking just keeps paying off. I don't even know where I came from. Way down there, somewhere. We're getting there. I'm sweaty. And uh, this trail is very narrow, but uh, relentless. Huh? I just got flown up by fly by by. What do I think were two F-16s? They just came flying right over the top. They're gone now. I'll have to pay attention. I hear them, but they're far away. Oh, I can't really see him here. I saw him before. I have to keep my eye out. This, in this case, my ear out. And we are still climbing like a motherfucker. I mean it. We're getting closer though. Oh, this is a lot of work. I'm spent. This is major leagues, and uh, I was only ready for AAA, maybe. All right, I made the junction down there. Mormon Ridge to the Chiricahua Saddle Trail. That's where I am now. You can see this is what 9,600 feet looks like. And we're almost there. Alright, still going. Still getting my ass kicked, but uh, we're fucking up here, I'm telling you. In this burn area, all these other little trees are taking over with these giant pines. Just checking in. Oh, yeah, it's still kicking my ass. We're still not there. But, man, so close, so close, oops. Prayers have been answered. I have a nice spring I found here that is still running and trickling. And plenty of water in it, so. I did ditch my map to make sure that I didn't come all the way down here for nothing. So I'm gonna go back, get my water shit, come back here, fill up, and then continue the day. Continue the day. 
Not a bad place to camp. Can't do it in here. Too many dead trees. So, we'll figure it out. But I, at least I got water. So it's cool. Now I gotta go back all the way up to get my shit. But, I'm a happy camper. I can drink to my heart's content. So I'm set up. I'm not particularly uh, out of any wind. There's not a lot of trees to block. Or that would give me an option to block. But I think I'm set up. Wind's supposed to come this, that way, that way. So, we'll see. It's a beautiful sunset. Got all my stuff set up. We'll see how it goes tonight. Not a great video, but uh, I am uh, nestled in. It's like maybe quarter to seven. Maybe. 6.30 at the best. That may be at more like it. And um, I am in like Flynn. It was a long day. Harder, harder than I thought. And uh, I'm good though. I found the water source I needed. There's another one around here somewhere too. That shouldn't be too bad to find. I am a little pissed off. I have my contacts. I don't have a case. So I'm done with them. So I'll be wearing glasses the rest of the uh, trip, unfortunately. And that's gonna suck because, you know, the sweat dripping and things like that. But, but I think I got about eight miles in, 3,700 feet of elevation change, incredible sunsets. It was a good day. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Here's what I'm dealing with, and this is why I'm done. This shit is not stopping. Sweet. Um, it's just crazy. Crazy bad. I'm going to uh, get my food bag down. I'm going to... Start packing my shit up so I can start heading down out of here. This is too fucking terrible. It's really sad, actually. Story of my backpacking life at most points. Okay, I found one of my spikes. Alright, found a boat. Not missing any. Backpack's a little damp. Everything's a little, everything's a little damp. We're packed up. We're heading down because this is not going to stop. Everything I own is soaked because of this cloud mist we're in. So, we got our ring gear on. We got some wet food, but that's not a big deal. Car's gonna wait for me. Don't have to worry about it. Damn, this is some crazy fucking weather. Considering how nice it was yesterday. Didn't even have this forecast. This is 10% rain. 10% for the last eight hours. <laughs> That's typical. Yeah, over now. This is uh, why just had to stop, call it a day.
Salisbury Canyon. To take it down. Now, these freaking horrible trails. Round Park. Thanks. Huh. All I know is I gotta go this way. Sadly. The weather is not looking like it's letting up at all. So I don't have much choice. At least the wind hasn't uh Looks like we're gonna have some rocks for a while. You know that wind will not relent. But we're getting lower. As we get out of the top of the mountains, we're out of that bullshit. Hopefully soon enough we'll be in some dry uh, dry uh, air. sun's come out. Uh, I've gone quite a ways since last time. All the clouds have cleared off the top of the mountain. Of course it has. But I wasn't going to stay up there and be unsure that it was or it didn't happen. So unfortunately, I'm done. However, I'm now in Salisbury Canyon. Got less than two miles to go to get out of here. And that'll take me to the car. Oh, this trail is hard to follow. Seventy-four logs I've stepped over today, or I've gone through, around, or under, under, over, or around. All right, here it is, noon. It's definitely hot, and I'm sweaty because ah, oh, I've got wind pants on. And thermals on underneath here. And this is number 87. Ah, get my foot over. Number 87. Run. Cool little canyon. There was water running before. I don't know where it went. Maybe it went on the other side. Oh, it's down there. Fall off the edge. Don't fall at all. Well, the clouds are still way up on the top, so I guess I got—I did make a good choice. And for sad though. I really wanted to finish this out, so instead, just an overnighter, top of the mountain. Uh, it's 
still a good time. Not gonna complain. Never complain about that. So, time to take my sweet 300S back through this truck 